less than seven days, Brendan and Katie come home and I want them to be able to enjoy the garden. I want mm -hmm. to do it. Mission accomplished. God bless you, Ryan. Thank you. Uh -huh. This is Mike and I out here enjoying our lovely Lanai, which is about to get lovelier. Ryan is making us breakfast. It is a Saturday morning. We just drove through Starbucks. I say we, Ryan drove through Starbucks. He got himself a frappuccino. I got myself a decaf. Mike already made himself his own coffee in his Christmas truck mug from Shop It's the Donnelly's. Aren't you fancy? All right, you guys, so you wonder what today is going to bring, and so do I, as I wonder what every day is going to bring. But I think my plan for today is to conquer our garden. And while we have a... Look at that's the drink girl. She's going by. She's serving the golfers, which is nice. There should be golfers coming through here. What? Okay. <laughs> I can get a drink. You know, we've never done that. We always say we're going to, and we never do. We gotta, turn, we gotta pull her over. Yeah. Right? We gotta run out and be like... Get some chips and a beer. Exactly. We don't need to go to the grocery <laughs> store. It's like living at the ballpark. <laughs> do you have any paper towel in there? Exactly right. So, anywho, this is our garden, which is an, a three at best out of ten. And yeah. what? Full of malarkey. It is not perfect at all. Seriously? What's wrong with it? Wait till you see. Thank you for asking, Michael. I'll tell you. Wait till you see what it can be. Okay, Alice, I'm gonna go outside. Now you're allowed to come out, but you have to have your harness on. You're not you're not hip to that right now. Okay, you guys, it's a little bit windy, but this is the deal. This is our little garden. First of all, I'd like to make it a little bit bigger. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that, but I'd like to edge along here. I'm dying to have a hibiscus out here. My goal really is to put more color into the garden, Mike. I want more, like, see that lady over there? Watch, this is our next one. I'm gonna zoom in. First of all, I love the rocks around our tree. Second of all, those orange flowers right there, I love. So I'm gonna try to get some of those orange flowers. I also wanna get a little bit more of these because I think they're so pretty. So I just want more color. I wanna fill it in. I wanna put mulch and I probably wanna line it. So I don't know, I've never done that before, but I'm gonna give it a whirl. So that's my goal, Mike. And um, what do you think? You like it? Aggressive, I know. One day, I got one day to do it. Look at what Ryan has served up today. He's got a little scrambly eggs and cinnamon raisin bagel. I have little scrambly eggs and honey wheat toast with butter. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what I need to fill my belly, Ryan, before I take on the garden. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be a little more prepared. Yes, are you gonna help me with the garden? No. No? <laughs> Mike, are you gonna help me with the garden? <laughs> okay. Hmm. It's a balmy 70, what, two degrees with a nice breeze. I feel like I want to get a lot of the plants and stuff in on this side before the sun comes over. Actually, you know, the sun is going to set over there. It's going to be pretty hot this afternoon around, let's say, three, two, three. So I'm going to try to get it done, most of it, at least the planting before then. Maybe not the mulching. Are you excited about my new garden? Very. Oh, thanks, Ryan. Yeah. You're going to get to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, today is Saturday. In less than seven days, Brendan and Katie come home mm -hmm. for spring break. And we are going on our cruise, and then when we get back, we're here for like four days. And I want them to be able to enjoy the garden. I want mm -hmm. them to us to be able to enjoy the garden. I love it. Yes, and I don't really have a lot of time to get it done. Today, I think Mike and Ryan are gonna go to the golf tournament over in Orlando. So while they're doing that, I'm gonna take care of the garden. My goal will be to have it done before they get back and then we can enjoy it tomorrow because church and everything tomorrow, I don't wanna have to do it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then um, and then of course during the week I'm working, so getting it done today would also, this is the other thing too, it's starting to get hot here in Florida and I would really like the plants to establish themselves, their roots and everything before it gets too, too hot. Um, we are in a bit of a dry spell, so I think I'm also going to move my hose back here so I can use the hose. Anyway, I'll show you all that. Well, you guys, I'm ready to go to the garden store to get all my stuff to start my garden renovation. Um, but I'm in a bit of a lurch, and guess what happened? I know you guys know. I lost my cat. I lost Eddie again. So I put him on a leash. He likes to go outside out back, but this time he's meowing to go out front. So I let him out front, and then I forgot he was there. And his leash got all tangled, like, in the, in the front gate. And then he wiggled himself out of his little harness, little leash, and now I don't know where he is. So I really, in good conscience, obviously, cannot leave 
without knowing where he is and getting him back home safely. So I don't know if I should go on tour trying to find him or just wait until he comes back. But this is good. definitely gonna put a damper on my day because as you know, I'm under a bit of a time crunch. And it's starting to get very hot and the sun is going to be on that side soon. So I kind of have to boogie, woogie, woogie and get this done. Ready? Come here, bud. Ready? I could not wait for Eddie to come home. So I've got Ryan waiting for Eddie to come home because I needed to get to the flower store. Holy cow, it is busy here and it is just beautiful. I came here with my mom one time. So this is like, this is my second time here. So I'm so excited to go see what we have. There's so many beautiful colors and that's what I'm all about today in my garden is color, color, color. Maybe some green like filler stuff, but I'm after beautiful floral color. This is a hibiscus that is, blooms both orange, you see the orange right here, and the red. And then this is a bougainvillea, which I'm going to put out front. That, I cheated a little bit. That's not going to go in my garden in the back. That's going to go out front. But look, at here's another smaller hibiscus that blooms red, a little foxtail fern. That starts with a P. I don't know what it's called, but it blooms all these are pink and orange again. This is also like red and yellow and orange. And then these blue guys, oh my gosh, I can't stand it. wanted color and I got color. So I'm hoping that everything translates into the garden the way that I am planning. You know, living in Florida, there are so many blooms and so many colors and so many tropical plants that you can have year round. Like I'm a huge hibiscus fan. And every year for Mother's Day, we would go when we lived in Maryland, Mike would take us to this place called Homestead Gardens and I would get my hibiscus plant and tree and I would plant it in a pot and I'd have it on my deck. So that was in May, right? I'd have it in my deck for the whole summer season and then it would die and then the next year we'd buy another one. Well, here in Florida, hibiscus are year round. So I'm so happy to be able to take advantage of the Florida lifestyle and just have beautiful tropical bougainvillea and hibiscus and while well, I have gardenia, I bought him last year. I hope that he blooms this year. So I'm just really looking forward to that and just living in all the lushness. My mom has, my mom and dad have a beautiful like back patio, back lanai area with beautiful blooming this, that, and the other. And I, when you walk up to their front door, there's these, just everything is blooming and it's gorgeous. And I'm hoping to be able to do something similar. Okay, it looks like, uh, what's his name showed up, huh? Hi, <laughs> his name is Eddie and he returned, thank goodness. He came right back to where he started from. He was laying on the front porch, just laying there, waiting for me to come home. Ryan was supposed to keep an eye out for him, and he didn't. I when did. I when I came home, he was laying there. I'm not sure what to say. Oh, Michael, there's your, there's your girl. Oh. See? <laughs> How do you coming out or no? All right, I'm going to give you a tour, Mike, of all of my garden stuff. Terrific. Are you it's ready? Exciting. Oops, careful. Yeah. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Uh, yes, I just got attacked by a root ball. <laughs> All right, let me start by saying I am literally just a, a weekend warrior gardener. I, I don't know much about anything. All I know is I want to look out at a pretty garden. So I know enough to like go through the store and look for things that say like partial shade, full sun, that kind of stuff. I know that. Yeah. I don't know anything about like pH of ground and dirt and, and fertilizing. I'll get to that later. Yeah. But for now, Okay, so I removed everything from the garden that wasn't attached. Good. And then I decided to, okay, so this is what my goal is. My goal is I would like it to be colorful. You didn't strap when... Eddie in, by the way. There he snuck out again. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> oh, goodness. Sorry I'm, about that. I'm definitely a free range cat mom. I'll put it that way. Hi, buddy. Sorry, go ahead. I wanted to make it so when you're looking at the garden, it screams color, and when you're sitting in the night looking out, you don't have to look over all the screen to get to color. There's, I wanted to put color over there as well. And as I told you guys when I was coming, it was in a car, and I'll tell you, Mike, like living in Florida, I want to take full advantage of Florida tropical 
beautiful hibiscus and bougainvillea and all the beautiful Florida things that can bloom all year long down here where we had to wait for just a season up north. So I want to live among it and really turn um, our house into our home. Okay, so this is what I've done. This is already existing, existing. I'm moving that was from here. It's a Mexican heather. It didn't do so well over there. I'm hoping that it does well. Mexican there. heather? Yes. This is the Lantana. And this is just a little ferny guy. The little ferny guy here for a little bit of balance. This guy starts with a P. I don't know what he's called, but he spreads. He's like a ground cover. And I thought over here, like this is sort of the tally area. This is sort of going to be a small area. And he blooms both pink and orange. This is another hibiscus. And then just like this blue guy over here, which I can't remember what he's called, I have a blue guy here. And I have a blue guy there. So when we're sitting on the lanai, you'll get to see the hibiscus over there, which is both orange and red. You'll get to see the blue guy, the blue guy, and then the green guys in between. So what do you think about that? That's really something. That's, it seems like you put a lot of thought into that. I did, and I'm very excited, and I hope everything works out. Um, I do think that I am going to, after I, oh, sorry, after I plan it, I do think I'm gonna, my next step is gonna be, well, I'm gonna mulch it, of course, and then fertilizer. I, I like look for whatever I need to do to help it bloom. I think that's my next step. So you guys, if you have any feedback on any of these plants, how it's easiest to grow them, what kind of fertilizer I'm gonna need, what kind of like plant stimulant, whatever that's called, let me know, I'll be all ears. And um, I did some stuff out front. Do you wanna see the stuff I did? I do, yeah, okay. excellent. Holy smokes, what's that, Joe? Oh my gosh, so this is a bougainvillea. You guys saw it in the car. So I put it right here at the front entrance. I'm gonna put him in a pot and hopefully he's going to be beautiful there. I moved the gardenia over here, Mikey, so when you walk in, you can smell the beautiful gardenia. Oh, when's it gonna smell? Um, <laughs> when it blooms. And look at, there's, wait, I saw one this morning. Look at, there's a, oh, that's a leaf, Never mind. Yeah, I don't know when it's gonna, oh, there's a bloom right there. Oh, that's exciting. It's gonna bloom, and I'm hoping that it smells. What's so, it called again? A gardenia. Gardenia. One of my favorites. I find it interesting that you give the uh, plants genders and names. I do, I do. Are they all he's, are there any she's? Um, no. That's funny that you should ask. No, my car is a she, but all the plants are he's. I don't know why. <laughs> I kind of, I picked that up, I think, for my friend Jen in college. Uh -huh. She referred to everything as a he or a she, and I just picked that up. <laughs> all right, well, get to work, Jill. All right, I'll show you the after. Well, maybe you'll see me do it a little bit, then I'll get to show you the after. When I was growing up, and even now, my parents always made a beautiful home, making it some place that we all would want to come back to. It always felt like a hug and the warmth of family when we were there. I want to do the same for my kids. I want, always want to make sure that they are proud to come home and they want to come home, not only because we're here, but also because the space is beautiful and they feel that they can relax and recharge and just be themselves. And I can't wait for them to come home this weekend where we can enjoy this beautiful space all together. Hey guys, I'm back home. I did not vlog any of my Home Depot trip because the whole time before I left here, and then went to Home Depot, and then came back. I've been on the phone with Katie. <laughs> and as you guys know, I film on my phone. So now um, Katie is on FaceTime with Ryan. So I'm outside, and I'm using my camera, my Canon. Okay, so this is the deal. I finished planting, but then I bought another, at Home Depot I had to buy another plant, and I bought that, because I love orange so much. And then I bought an edging kit. So I'm gonna edge really quick first, and then I'm going to mulch this project is so fun and it's moving much quicker than I thought it was going to. I thought this was going to take like two days, but it's it's moving quicker. And I cannot wait tonight to sit down in my lanai with a glass of wine or maybe an ice cream cone and look at my new garden. Which Katie is, nice. is catching up. holding me hostage on the phone. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not, holding, I'm not holding anyone hostage. I love talking to you. We love sister. talking to you, Katie Elizabeth. We are totally just joking. We were you guys. I just edged. So that I put the edging you're, stuff you're around there the and then drove some like stakes yeah, yeah. into the ground to make sure it goes along there. Oh, and now I have the mulch. I have six bags of this. Gonna place that in there nicely. And I'm, I am pleased to announce everybody that the garden is now complete. Ta-da! With time to spare, as a matter of fact, I didn't really think that I was going to be able to get this done in one day. I thought I was gonna be rushed. And I wasn't, I mean, I didn't relax by any means, but I wasn't rushing to get it done. I was working at a nice pace. It was such a fun project to do. I can't even tell you how, and how satisfied I feel of, over having it done. Now, again, it's not, it's nothing spectacular by any means, 
but it's cleaned up. It has more color. These, these plants are going to like fill in. It just really makes the outside and the inside blend seamlessly, I feel like, and it makes this area just one that I want to be in. So it's funny, I can't tell you, well, obviously I've been working on the garden, but how many times I like come out to look at it and I stand out here now. I can obviously look at it from inside the lanai, but I just want to stand out here and see it. So maybe we'll put some chairs or something out here. I'm not sure. Eddie, what do you think? You like it? Yay! So I'm going to do exactly what we wanted to do. Mike and I are going to sit on the lanai and enjoy a glass of wine. But first, we're going to go for a beautiful walk on the golf course. Ryan is out there golfing. All right, you guys, I couldn't tell. I was filming before with the other camera and I couldn't tell if it was blurry or not. But anyway, I already did. Thanks, Mike just grabbed the camera for me. I already did everything. So I just wanted to get one more shot of the garden um, being finished. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'm still all yucky, look. But I don't, <laughs> I don't mind. It's a good yuck. You did it's great. You did you. great. Thanks. So it's very um, bright and colorful. This was your goal, right? That was my goal. Yep. And to be able to sit on the lanai, the lanai and um, look out. One thing I did, actually I moved a lot of plants when I originally had them down and then I started, I planted everything sort of in its spot and then I moved things around. So now I had the fern over there and I ended up moving that plant. I pulled them out of there. So I moved the hibiscus over there and then there were two hibiscus next to each other and that wasn't gonna do well. So I moved the fern from there to there and put the other hibiscus over here. <laughs> so anyway, and I had to buy, I bought another one of those, moved this up. Yeah, so I did a little moving around, but I'm happy with my Oh, I know what I was going to say. The stones, the white stones. I was going to put white stones around the tree. Mike and I decided that maybe we're not going to do that. We're just going to leave it natural like this. And um, I don't know, comment down below if you think that maybe putting white stones around a tree is kind of like putting, like, <laughs> I don't know, a lion. Sometimes you walk past a house and they have, like, these big, like, ceramic lions out front. No offense if you guys do, but we kind of think, like, mm. I'm gonna draw the line there. If, if, I'm not a king. Like if I were the king of England, maybe I'd have lions in the front castle, front of my castle. But um, then we thought maybe the stones were like that. But I want to say it out loud because my next door neighbor. So we're gonna take the stones back. This space that was once blah is now beautiful. It's totally full of color. It's so pleasing to the eye. I'm hoping that it will afford many, many relaxing days on the lanai that we can just sit around as a family and chat and enjoy each other's company. Mission accomplished. And what do you think? Ed. Eddie just wants to play in it and he's just been meowing to get out of that collar. Ed, what do you think? He doesn't care. Good job, Hayden. Hi, buddy. Thank you nice so work. much. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm not sure if we're going to vlog the rest of the day. If we don't, Take a look out. Oh, we don't take a look at this video when we first moved in and what everything looked like. All right. Yes, but if we do vlog, we'll be back. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.